Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright Python tutorial series and in this particular tutorial we will learn to install the PyCharm so let's begin. What is an IDE? An IDE is basically an integrated development environment which is basically a software suite that consolidates basic tools required for the software development. Any IDE can contain code editor, compiler, interpreter, debugger, bell automation tools and version control system. We can also write our code in the notepad but that wouldn't be as you know efficient now let's see if we are using the id how it can help us so basically ids are efficient because it streamlines the code with the intelligent code completion so if you write code on the notepad you will not the intelligent code completion even it would highlight the syntax it will give you real runtime error detection in the id but not in the notepad okay so it will actually improve your productivity and then in order to manage the code because you will be when you are working on the project you have you will be working on the different files so it would be easier to maintain the code right and similarly it is very easy to integrate the version control system like git for the better collaboration and the code management so that's why we need to use the id instead of you know writing the code on the notepad and any other sort of uh, interpreter or maybe at any other word format right so now uh, let's see how we can install the, the PyCharm basically. So PyCharm, and first before that, let me open the browser and show you what PyCharm is. So, so basically, uh, let me open the browser here, and in the browser, you need to search for PyCharm. So uh, PyCharm is basically an integrated development environment used for Python programming. Right? So People are using this PyCharm in order to develop the Python programs. So uh, just go here, and it is from the JetBrains, and here you will see that the Python ID for the data science and web development, right? And here you will see some pricing because there are two different versions. One is full fledged for the professional, and other is the free community, right? And in terms of you know working with the automation testing, we can work with the free community addition just click on download here and here you don't need to click on this one because this is uh the professional version you need to scroll down but before that here you will see that is available for the mac and linux as well so click on the windows uh, right now i'm using the windows to so scroll down here and here you see that we have this id here for the python development purely for the python development and this is a community addition and from here just click on download and it will start downloading in case if it doesn't start downloading you need to click on this direct link this is already installed on my uh this is already downloaded on my system so i will cancel this one and let me go to my download section here so once it will be downloaded you will see something like this so right click on this one and uh, what you need to do is that run as a administrator okay you will see this pop up and click on yes and once you will click on yes it will start and just click on next then you need uh, some space in order to install the PyCharm so space required is 1.7 GB so you need to ensure that you have that sufficient space in order to install this one okay now click on next and here uh, we need to add a path variable so click on this one and in order to create some associations just click on this one right and if you need a shortcut for this one click on this one but i think you don't need a shortcut at this moment just click on next then install and that will install the community addition on your system that, that's easy and once it will be installed we will open this one and see the look interface of this python where we will be writing over python scripts so before uh, that, let me click on show details. So here you will see that the different files being extracted here and installing those files. Meanwhile, let me go back here to the website here. And here, just go to this features and click on this features here. And here you will see that the features provided. So Python provides everything you need out of the box to code faster and smarter. Whether you are an experienced developer or just starting your journey in the language, the JetBrains IDE for Python helps you to get your work done. 
right? So it's Python for editing, database and SQL and support, Python profiler, testing, refactoring, debugging and lots more, right? And if you want to compare what is different between the community version and the professional one, just go here, click on pricing here and here you scroll down, you, you will see this pricing stuff here and you will see that you can go for the individual, the organization, billing right for students teachers and community right so we are using this the open source for the students and the teachers and here you will see all the material here so for training courses coding schools and bootcamp this is free right just click on this one you will learn more about these free educational licenses from here and furthermore uh, if you go here you will see that Lessons for the students, individual lessons for the crypto labs you get from here, right? And if I go here and let's go back here, so you see that uh, the PyCharm was very quick in terms of installation. So right now, uh, once the installation will be completed, it will ask you to restart your system, right? But I'm not doing it because I want to show you. So just click on I want manually later and click on finish so pycharm is installed now simply just go to your search and type pycharm right so pycharm community edition let's click on this one and it will open the id for us so it will take some time again if it doesn't open just type again by charm yeah it is opening so we do need to open this one and this is a very simple look and you see some master and ms scripts because i when i uninstalled this one i didn't remove my files but for you if you're start, starting for the first time you're installing for the first time you need will you see a blank screen here so basically here you will be writing your code and here is the project hack. So this is a very simple look here. And from here on the top, we can actually select the file in order to run which file and we can debug from here. And from here, we have basically different projects here. And from here, we will do the version controlling. And here, if you click on this one, so basically it will show the structure. And furthermore, if you click on this, so basically this is used for committing the code. From here, you can run debug you can do this thing furthermore from here you can open a terminal so in order to execute some commands you can run the commands from here so this is a very basic you know introduction to the pycharm and we install the pycharm thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial